Okay, we're going to use this setup with a network and a switch to demonstrate the effects of port security. So basically what we have here is we have a, uh, a network and I've labeled the IP addresses that all these PCs currently have on this network, switch network. And so I can go to this um, host 50 here and open up a command prompt and I can ping host 53. So right now I'm, I'm pinging from host 50 to host 53 right here, right? And then I can do the same thing from 53. I'll take this, open a command prompt I'm using Packet Tracer, and this time I'm going to ping 50, right? So you can see there, you see the replies that are happening. So that tells us that this PC can ping this PC and this PC in return can ping back and so these echo requests and echo replies are going across the switch. Now let's take a quick look, look at this switch. With the switch we'll take a, a quick look at it. Password Cisco enable command password Cisco and we'll do a show run for showing show running configuration and we'll see that on interface fast ethernet 10 0 slash 10 we've put switch port mode access switch port port dash security switch port port dash security mac address sticky and you can see here that switch port port dash security mac address sticky you can see that it actually picked up a mac address right and this mac address belongs to this pc right here right so it um, has port security and it has in its running configuration this MAC address is recorded so basically what that means is is if we take this link off here and we move it to a different PC switching from this PC to this PC which would change MAC addresses the MAC address from this PC to the MAC address from this PC we should have port security take effect and have an inability to communicate across the network. So the switch should lock down the port, shut down the port, and um, inability to communicate. So this PC right here, his IP address is 104. Let's see if he can ping PC50. So we'll go here, command prompt, have him, P, uh, have him ping 1.50 and he's trying to ping he's trying to ping the other PC and we're getting a timeout here so he's trying to ping and you can see here the ports have gone red and the switch is not allowing the communication to take place it has shut down the port right the port is shut down ping is not working okay so if we hover over the switch now you can see the pop-up you'll see that port 0 slash 10 is down so that port is in feed is in fact down now so if we wanted to uh, bring that port back up what we need to do is let's go into the switch and we would have to go into global config mode conf t which is short for configure terminal and go into interface short int fa0 slash 10 now we're in interface configuration mode and we could now shut down the port right and then we could change it to no shutdown effectively bringing the port back up and you can see now the port comes back up And we still, let's check to see also the configuration and see if the configuration is maintained. I'm going to see if the configuration is maintained here. Show run, running configuration. And you can see here that it's still, the um, switch still has in the running config the MAC address of the other PC. So this PC, we still won't be able to communicate if we start trying to talk here we'll not be able to communicate but if we
take it and put it back on the computer with the correct MAC address, the communication will be able to take place. So we're going to do the same configuration over on this network. We don't have the configuration set up. We're going to do it over here. What we did over here, we'll implement over here.